in this example, we have 3x squared minus 12 divided by 3x plus 6. All right? And again, guys, we want to look into factoring. Now, some people just automatically go and do this. Oh, let's divide off the threes. Like, oh, no, 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 we can't do that. We can only do that, guys, when we have things that are in factor form. You can only apply to division property when you have terms separated by multiplication. These terms are not separated by multiplication. You have subtraction and addition here. So let's go ahead and factor. We can factor out a 3. And before factoring out, though, I'm just going to use this. Now we can factor, again, another difference of two squares. OK? Now, we recognize the x plus 2 divides out, right? What is the discontinuity associated with the x plus 2? x? Yeah, negative 2, though. So at x equals negative 2, there is a removable discontinuity, also known as a whole, right? Now, what about 3? Got divided out. Right, so what? Three is three. Is there a hole at three? Is there a hole at zero? It got divided out just like the x plus twos. Yeah? Huh? So what happens when you plug in one? Do you have a discontinuity at one? Remember, guys, holes and asymptotes only occur where the function is undefined, right? The function is only undefined at one value here, negative two. Here's a tricky thing for people that are not paying attention. 3 gets divided out. We still have stuff to do. Don't put things away. We still have stuff to do. We still have five minutes left. 3 is getting divided out. That's fine. That doesn't mean it's a discontinuity. It just gets divided out. It's only a discontinuity, guys, if it makes the denominator equal to 0. There's only one number that makes the denominator 0. That's a negative 2. So a lot of people will. They'll just say, oh, well, 3 is a whole because it gets divided. Yeah, it gets divided out, but it's not a whole. It's not a discontinuity. So there's only one discontinuity here, which is at negative 2. Yes? Um, would that make the denominator 0 or would it still be 1? Huh? Like if you divide out 3, would that make the denominator 0 or 1? No, just, that just goes 3 over 3 is 1 over 1 and it doesn't make it a 0 or anything. Right? So the simplified answer, guys, is really just x minus 2, but it has a whole at x equals negative 2. And one more example I got before you guys. So I'd recommend you guys have that stuff 